Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the weekly contest 270, step-by-step -step directions from a binary tree node to another. Um, so I did a little bit of a hack on this one. Um, and then I think, you know, you can use a depth first search to use for this one. Um, so yeah, so if you want to discuss that, come to my Discord channel. There are a lot of smart people and they're all finishing pretty high. And then I'm just there to kind of, you know, facilitate smart people, I suppose. But yeah, um, but the way that I did it, I thought about the depth first search uh, thing for a while before I landed on on uh, using breath first search. I just thought it would be a little bit less confusing to, in terms of like, because if I... Because my idea here is, and you can do it in any search because it's a tree, there's only one shortest path. Um, and then depth first search, the idea behind a depth first search or, you know, recursive solution is that you're trying to find the the least common ancestor. And then once you find the least common ancestor, then then there's only one path to the, 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 the starting node and the destination node. And then you have to do some... Um, you know, going together the paths and stuff like that. I so I so that's you know, I mean maybe I'm a little bit fast on that one, but that's a general idea, right? Basically you find the least common ancestor and then you just find the star node and then the destination node in, in the split, and then you get those paths and then you glue it together. I thought that would be a little bit too hard. Uh, I mean I did start it going on that path, but I thought it would be too hard. So the way that I end up doing is um is just breath first search. Breath first search is the same thing. We have the shortest path, but for me, it's easier to reconstruct the path by, you know. But with me, the way that I did it is by pre-processing the tree so that you get the parent um, in a quicker, in an easier way. Um, and that's basically it. Let me, let's, let me show you the path to my kingdom. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, but this is basically me uh, constructing, uh, not this part, but just this part. Um, this is just me pre-processing the tree such that I set up the parent, right? So basically I, you know, this is just regular recursion stuff. I don't even think I need this, but uh, I just kind of put it in there. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I just get the starting node in the same one. This is just, you know, doesn't really matter, but um, you could do it in another depth of search, for example, but uh, I just kind of stuck it in there. Um, and then it just goes, okay, the left dot, if we can go left, we set the parent to node. So basically, this is just creating the parent, like a link back to the parent. This is a trick that I use, for, and it probably only works in Python slash non-type language or whatever. Um, but it's not that hard to do it in like C++ or Java. C++ or Java, you, I mean, there are a number of ways you could do it. For example, you just have a parents hash table that looks up, you know, parents.node.left. Um, is you go to node or something, right? So it's not impossible to do, but this just makes the syntax a little bit easier, if you ask me. So this pre-processes the tree to to set up the parent's link, and then now this is just breath first search, ready, straightforward breath first search. Definitely practice it if you have issues with this one. Breath first search will you know be on your interview, um, or maybe it won't be on your interview, but it is very expect you know like it within expectation of the interview so definitely do it um yeah um and then this is just breath first search so yeah this you know uh, the only thing here is that i just make sure that if you go to the parent you go up and you just also queue up um you queue up the parent but you also make sure that um yeah you this is just for path re, uh, construction, which we'll show in a second. Uh, but yeah, this is left, this is right, and that's pretty much it. It just shows you that the previous move, right? Um, and then here, yeah, we start at the end, and then we go backwards, um, just, you know, going through the previous thing of the shortest path. This is also very standard for shortest path E things, um, and also dynamic programming path reconstruction. So definitely familiar with yourself with this one, or at least other problems that does this. Um, and at the very end, after I get all this answer, I just go back. And of course, the path construction, the answer, because we're kind of going from backwards up. So we just have to reverse it. Um, yeah, and this is going to be linear time because where linear is O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. And because of a tree, because it is a tree, the number of nodes and the number of edges are the same minus one, right? The one fewer edges than the nodes. So 
So yeah, so this is going to be linear because this is just that for search. We look at each node once and here this is Q um, and we will, you know, because we check if it's if it's in previous, which is another way of saying if we already processed this. Um, so we only we only DQ each node once. So this is going to be linear. Um, and of course, in the worst case, this is a linked list and you, 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 um, you know, you traverse the entire tree again. Um, so this is going to be linear time. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Oh, and this is linear space because, you know, we have a, we have a queue, uh, but we also, we have, um, you know, a previous table, but we also have, we also set up the parent of the entire tree. So that's just linear space. So yeah, linear time, linear space, and that's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, you could watch me solve this during the contest next. Okay, good. Binary true and notes. Okay. Start T, shortest path from S to T. Hmm. They're unique, I suppose. Okay. Mm. Okay. How do I want to do it? Doesn't have to go through the root. I think that's the trickiest part. Um, <coughs> okay, so let's see. They all have to be in there. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Cheat. So I think this connects all the things. So now we have to find a node. The end node doesn't really matter as much, but. Order should do it, but I want to make sure that.
And then now we do something like Oops, this isn't, I mean, this is right, but I need to do a little bit more. This is so prone to silly mistakes, to be honest. Just this backwards a bit. Mm, if they have to be different, if they have to be different.
That looks okay. Hopefully this is good. Okay, good. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Uh, thanks for your support. But yeah, come to Discord if y'all want to chat about these problems in a more interactive way. I'm actually been becoming a big fan of Discord, so come man. Yeah, there are a lot of smart people there now. Um, but yeah, stay good, stay healthy, keep grinding. It's tough, I know. Keep going. I believe in you. Um, but yeah, stay healthy. What else does that say? To good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.